guys, welcome back to Cycle Fab. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about nipples. Yeah, but not those kind, nuh -uh. So before we get on with the video though, please give me a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And go ahead and hit that notification bell too so you know my next video is coming out. Nipples that I'm talking about are these guys right here. These are junctures for fuel between these carbs. Now, it's not just Suzuki that calls these little T's nipples. This is in several industries, plumbing for one. Uh, I guess it's just a general term for a juncture. Anytime there's gas or fluid or you know gaseous substance going to it. Anyway, what I'm going to do is remake these. These are made out of plastic. Actually, one is made out of both plastic and aluminum, and it is nasty. Over the years, it has oxidized to the point that not much fuel is gonna get through there. Uh, and the ones that are solid plastic, well, gee, I think one of them's cracked. And anyway, plastic is not meant to last I don't know, 41 years, which is how long it's been set up in this carb system. Uh, this is a 1981 Suzuki GS550. And if any of you have been watching my videos, then you are familiar with this because the last four videos has been about this engine and this bike build. This is a street tracker build. Anyway, what I want to do is I've already got these uh, pre-cut right here. All right, now these I cut out of a sheet of half inch aluminum, just a small sheet actually. And I'm gonna remake these out of aluminum and powder coat them. So give them some UV protection there and you know, the, they won't oxidize again. But I just really don't like plastic in a system like this. For one thing, eventually they are going to leak. And that's why I'm not going to put those back into these after I've done all this work to it. Now there's five of these two of which right here, these are already aluminum. Uh, why they didn't make all of them out of aluminum, I don't know. They have a little bit of oxidation on them, but they're not that bad. So I'm just gonna clean these up, powder coat these, reinstall them back in. Now, of course, all of these will have brand new O-rings on them. So instead of sitting around here talking, let's get with this and make some nipples. All right, off to a good start. I've got all the little passageways drilled, as you can see here. I'll give you a close-up of it. And next, I'm going to turn down the actual round parts of it, uh, where you put the tubes on and where they fit up into the carburetors themselves. Now, what this consists of is just basically one hole going all the way through this way, and then another hole that intersects them but does not come through on the bottom. I didn't show you me drilling the holes because, frankly, it's boring. And whenever I show machining processes on YouTube or on this channel, uh, people have a tendency to click off, which I don't blame me. I've been doing this for 30 years. And machining is kind of like watching paint dry sometimes. But anyway, I am going to show you on the lathe how I make these round because it's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Oh, dude, these came out sweet. I just pulled these off the lathe, and I'm really impressed. I, I've never made these before. Uh, they're really kind of intricate, but yeah, uh, they fit and everything else. I already put the O-rings on them and you know stuck them together, to make sure that uh, they're going to fit right. But yeah, I just duplicated the measurements from these, uh, the old ones, onto these, and yeah, it worked out just fine. Now what I'm going to do is powder coat them in a satin, or rather a matte clear coat by Prismatic Powders. Uh, here's a close-up of these, what they look like now. And they have kind of a, well, they have a machine finish, which is not a polished aluminum finish at all. So me spraying them with a matte clear coat will uh, make them match these more than likely, just, you know, spot on, hopefully. 
And anyway, uh, let's go do that now. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay. Oh, wow. I'm so glad that I decided to tear these things apart and just dive into them. This came out looking nice, really. Uh, these parts, the nipples, <laughs> ended up matching great with this. You can see here, um, right after I got them powder coated before I installed them into the carb system, uh, they look sweet. I mean, really, uh, 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 did not expect them to come out looking that good. I expected them to come out looking good because, well, I, <laughs> I know my machining ability, but uh, yeah, that good, yeah, it, it really matches well. I mean, you can see here in this close up, it just really pops. Yeah, you know, right down in here. I mean, you got five of these things. I only made three of them. Two of, two of them were already aluminum. Uh, that's these little guys right down here. Okay, you can't see it, but here's a close up of it. It's just a tube. It has two O rings on each side. Uh, some of them have two O rings on each side, like the big middle one here. And these just have one. Uh, but this really wasn't that hard to do. I mean, it, it took a couple of days to machine them out and everything with everything else that I got going on. But the more I tear this carb system apart, the easier it is. And I'm sure that they're pretty much all the same between this and Yamaha and Honda and all the other Japanese bikes. But, uh, well, Suzuki, yeah. Anyway, uh, it came out great. I'm really, really pleased with it. Really pleased with it. But if you guys ever want to take one of these apart and you've never done it before and you feel intimidated by it, it's not that big a deal. Uh, matter of fact, you can go to my video. I'll put a link down below. And uh, or to be over here. I'll probably put a card up here. Uh, check it out, me tearing this apart. Of course, now after that video, I've torn this thing apart two or three times, put it back together, and it just, yeah, it's no big deal, really, at all. So, and everything works on. I got some new screws for it. They're all cap screws, stainless steel, so I don't have to worry about stripped out JSI heads, or JIS heads, Japanese Industrial Standard. The, the thing with Japanese Industrial Standard, I actually like those. They work great. They look like Phillips, but they're not. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> at some point in a motorcycle's life, if it has JIS screws in it, somebody has put a Phillips screwdriver to it and trashed the head of the screw out. So, you know, getting them out, sometimes you gotta drill them out. I had to drill out quite a few out of that motor uh, because somebody, at one point in time, used a Phillips screwdriver on it and just mutilated the head, so. Anyway, but I went back with stainless steel cap screws and these things, I, I love them. I mean, these shoes, I don't have one here laying around. Uh, just a T-handle Allen wrench on it, pop, pop, pop. So I went back and put those in all up here, all down in here, this side, just anywhere that there's a screw on here that was JS gap. Just anywhere where there was a screw on here that was JIS screws, I replaced with uh, cap heads, Allen, yeah. I love those things. And it just really pops. Uh, it gives it that, I don't know, rugged mechanical look. I mean, the whole thing's mechanical anyway, yeah, but just Allen heads just look better, I think. Yeah, making these out of aluminum instead of this crappy plastic, that's a big benefit because these are 41 years old. This plastic has been sitting out in the environment and they are just, blah, I mean, dead, really. Uh, I think this one right here is cracked. Uh, this one is just, I mean, it looks like it's melted on the ends. But anyway, that's why I went ahead and made some out of aluminum and powder coated them. So those will last forever now. If you check down the description below, you'll see a link to my diffuser kits for the Eastwood powder coat gun. Also, I make them for the Harbor Freight powder coat system. So go ahead, if you want some or want to try them out, just go down there, hit that link. Check them out. If you like it, buy it. Hope you do. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you got something out of it. I know I did. Uh, these cards are really coming along nice. I really like that. I'm so happy that I tore into them. If you like this video, then give me a big fat thumbs up. 
subscribe to my channel and go ahead and hit that notification bell too so you know my next videos are coming out. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye now.